instead of brown on the bottom and blue on the top, it was all brown except one little corner of blue. A really scary moment one time going out to my brother's place he lived about 20 miles away it was like New Year's Day there's these low clouds he had a little 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 field right by his house not very big but I'd landed there quite a few times but there was these low clouds and I'm, so I'm flying out there I'm like Kevin if, if I can see a hole and get down through a hole I'll, I'll come see it because he says you can see really good down here like okay well, I, I found a hole and I started dropping through a hole, but it closed up. So I, I says, I am out of here. I'm climbing out. I can't see anything, you know, so I'm just watching my attitude indicator. And I'm climbing out, and I made the mistake of taking my eyes off of my attitude indicator. I'm still on the phone with him, you know, on my headset or Bluetooth. And I looked up through that skylight to see if the sun was like about ready, if I was about ready to break through these clouds. And when I look back at my attitude indicator, instead of brown on the bottom and blue on the top, it was all brown except one little corner of blue. So without feeling it at all, I had gone from climbing out like this to like this. Didn't even know it. And the, the tops of these clouds are like maybe 700 feet. And there's big trees. I thought, oh man, I'm dead. But I had to interpret that. What's, what is that telling me? So it wasn't like I instantly knew exactly what was happening, what to do. My body said nothing changed. But here that thing said that. I'd never seen my attitude indicator quite like that. But I, I, I think I have guardian angels that were working that, that day. I, honestly, that's what I think. Because I made it. And I got... I got climbed out of there and I went home and I thought, man, I could quit doing this. It rattled me pretty good, but I know you can't quit doing it. I've done too much to get here. So the very next day I got back in my airplane. I flew out there, it wasn't cloudy, landed, took my brother for a flight. We went up. I got in that attitude. I, we did this three times and I lost 800 feet each time. And I didn't even have 800 feet. That's why I'm saying. My guardian angels were, they were there. It can happen, it can happen like that. And, and no kidding, you, you, you have no clue. It's like, no, Not, my head, I mean, I get motion sick real easy. I really notice motion. I did not notice going from here to here. So yeah, it can happen quick. And, I, and, I, and realizing that now, how, how screwed up I can get so quickly, if I ever do get in a cloud, I mean, I don't take my eyes off that attitude indicator until I'm out of it. But I really don't mess with them. I, I, I don't mess with them. I, I don't mess with bad weather. I want to I stay alive for a while.